Hello and welcome to Flip Physics. I'm David Wood, your physics teacher for this journey through the universe. If you're not one of my students, welcome. I hope you find these videos useful, interesting, or entertaining. If you are one of my students, make sure you leave a comment before you leave with your questions so that I know you've been here. So, what is physics? Well, in a nutshell, physics is everything. Everything you see around you is explained by physics. In fact, that's the goal of physics, to understand the entire universe on a fundamental level. Physics tries to explain everything from the quarks that make up protons and neutrons, the smallest things that we know exist, all the way up to stars and galaxies and the universe itself. Physics covers all of time, from the Big Bang and what happened around that, all the way to the future of the universe, what's going to happen in millions or billions or trillions of years' time. And physics is not over. We don't fully understand the universe. Maybe we never will. But humans keep questioning, keep learning, keep striving to understand more and more every year. Albert Einstein said, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. And that is the heart of physics. Asking questions no matter how deep or perplexing. And sometimes the answers are not what you would hope for. Some branches of physics, like quantum mechanics, are so weird they make your head hurt. But if that's what the evidence points to, then until we find better evidence, that's most likely to be true. Sometimes physicists get a bad rap for being too concrete and unimaginative. Our goal is often to take elegant, beautiful parts of nature and condense them into simple mathematical equations. This, for example, is the equation that describes the energy in different colours of light. You take this beautiful rainbow and condense it into this. It all seems very neat. And because of this desire for neatness, physicists have sometimes said things that seem to imply that imagination is bad. That if there isn't evidence for something, then it just isn't worth thinking about. That if it's philosophical, it's transient and not useful. But the best physicists had immense imaginations. Rivka Gaussian once said, Physics advances by accepting absurdities. Its history is one of unbelievable ideas proving to be true. Some of the great discoveries in physics happened because somebody thought of an idea that seemed crazy, impossible. But it turns out, the universe is crazy and seemingly impossible. So that's what physics is, but it's also important to mention what physics isn't. To start that, I'm going to go to a longer quote. This one is by Owen Schrödinger, a physicist who worked in quantum mechanics, one of the weirdest parts of physics. I am very astonished that the scientific picture of the real world around me is very deficient. It gives a lot of factual information, puts our experience in magnificently consistent order, but it is ghastly science by all and sundry that is really near to our heart, that really matters to us. It can't tell us a word about red and blue, bitter and sweet, physical pain and physical delight. It knows nothing of beautiful and ugly good or bad, God and eternity. Science sometimes pretends to answer questions in these domains, but the answers are very often so silly that we are not inclined to take them seriously. And I think that quote eloquently summarises what physics lacks. Even if we understand every particle in the human brain, even if we can predict people's actions before they take them, as much as that might turn out to be impossible, even if one day physics can truly explain everything, physics will never be able to ascribe meaning to existence. Let's say you're completely, hopelessly in love with the girl or guy who lives around the corner from you. It goes so well that in a few years' time you get married. Your entire being is tied to that person. They mean more to you than you could have imagined possible. A scientist might tell you that you only feel those things because of the biological imperative to reproduce. But that would imply that feelings are fleeting, meaningless, that all of human existence can be boiled down to some numbers in a physics equation. I think most of us know better than that. Where the meaning is absolute, such as the meaning derived from a belief in the existence of a god, or relative, just placed on things by us in our humanity and experiences. Either way, that meaning is real and true and should never be dismissed. That's the magic in life, the imagination. Something that makes life sweet and paradoxically has led to some of the greatest discoveries in physics. Those imaginative leaps that led to a new era in physics. I personally believe that physics will never be able to answer the deepest questions of philosophy love and the meaning of life. But at the same time, I don't think we can answer those questions without it. Thanks for watching Flip Physics. Please comment below with your questions, thoughts and suggestions. If you liked this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.